What's up, it's your girl Connie Diamond. I'm rocking with Young Atlas, and this is what you really want to know. What's up, this is Naima Supreme. I'm here with Young Atlas, and what you really want to know. Be like a pause and think they fucking with me begging they bar. I know my worth, I ain't begging the bargain. How is you stupid? They trying to figure me out like a Rubik's. Said he didn't mash it, this shit like a Buddhist. They see that show on the nigga, leave him clueless. Road on the dick, kick the mind, the boot it. Floating like I'm with the stars and monkey boss, we go off the beat like a pause and think they fucking with me begging they bar. I know my worth, I ain't begging the bargain. Okay. Oh, this is your girl Phoenix. We are here with Young Atlas introducing a new segment. We really want to know, and I'm sitting here with two incredibly talented. Artists, I don't even want to label them any specific thing. I'm just going to say artists and creatives in front of me. Miss Connie Diamond and Naima Supreme. We are going to ask them a couple questions. And then we're going to tell you why they're both sitting in front of you today. So, Miss Connie. Mm -hmm. if, I, if my memory serves me correct, you came into this game as a hairstylist. Correct. And so where did the rapping come in? Like, what was the segue? Well, I'm, I'm still doing hair currently. So, um, and I've been rapping since I was like 14. So it's like, that hasn't, that hasn't been a thing where it's like, oh, I decided to just rap one day. Like, I've been rapping for a long time. I guess just because we have more social media outlets and shit. So it's a little bit more easier to see what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me rephrase my question. What made you passionate enough to pursue it as a, as a career outside of... Outside oh, okay. Of Honestly, like, at first I was, like, playing around. Like, I was just, like, do, using it as, like, kind of like a hobby. Like, and, um, it wasn't until I did Summer 16 and I, I got a, like, really good response from it, obviously. Everyone knows that it kind of went viral, whatever the case. And... From then, I was just like, all right, let me take this a little bit more serious because, you know, I had, I felt, I guess I felt better about it. I had more people saying, like, oh, no, nah, you're really good, you know. So I never really doubted that I was, like, not good at it or anything like that, but it was just more so of a thing where I was just, like, playing around with it here and there. So I want to say that 2016, that was probably the year that made me feel like, right, I'm about to really, like, focus up on it, basically. Okay. When I first uh, found out about you and your artistry, it was... Murder. I wouldn't say for me personally, when I started really started paying attention, and you know how something dope will make you go back and kind of do your research and see everything that's happened before that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But that was when I was like, oh, she's she's really 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 a problem. Um. And I think what's impressive is that you maintain, you still maintain your identity as a cosmetologist. Um. Do you think being multifaceted is also like part of your appeal as an artist that people? know that you got other bags, you got other situations, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think that is, I'm 100% okay with people knowing that. I speak about it, like, I'll throw bars in there in reference to that all the time. Like, I'm not ashamed of what I do on the side, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's kind of what, that's my bread and butter at the end of the day. I don't have a nine to five, I don't clock in, so that is helping me, like, continue to build on my music career as well, so... You know what I'm saying? I let people know off the rip. Like, I'm not acting like I'm selling drugs or none of that shit. How niggas be... Do I'm not doing that. I'm doing hair. And that's... You know, so I'm a thousand percent okay with people, like, knowing that that's what it is. And I feel like that does that that does me more appealing. So... Okay. Um, another question. So, Tatiana, what's your fantasy? Put your hand up. Um, is there, like, a method to your madness which you choose in these classic records to murder? Um, it was like bring it back to life and murder it again, or are you just like an artist of an inspiration and you basically just whatever you feel you do? Um, I, I, I'm, I feel like I, my greater like realm is like the freestyle thing. It's because I could have more fun with it and it doesn't have to have a like theme, it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be about one specific thing. You just like free force, do whatever you want. So when I when I tackle the old school beats, I kind of want to like I kind of tackle shits that I feel like are timeless songs that like we could go to a party in the summertime and now niggas will play that shit and it's still rock. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, I don't really have. I don't think there is a met the only method I would say is like I pr I purposely like try to go for the the, the songs that are like 
like timeless like songs that you can always like play at parties and shit. So, but the the ones that are like Tatiana or um, you know, like the current to today's like songs, like right. I just do that just to stay in like to stay up to date with everybody. Like, so yeah. Got you. So Miss Naima, um, a lot of people like to affiliate you with um your appearance on Sisterhood of Hip Hop, mm-hmm. which we are aware of. But what a lot of people are not aware of is that you were an entity and an artist way before that, um, starting from House Party. Right. Um, yeah, I did my research. <laughs> um, and so just coming from that to now um, and maintaining some consistency even up to this day, um, what is some advice you would give to someone who may only be attached to certain entities, although maintaining who they are and their artistry and their sense of self? Um, definitely. I guess, don't let it define you, you know, and it could be a huge thing. Sisterhood of Hip Hop was a huge, you know, defining moment for me in terms of people knowing me internationally rather than just like New York City wise, but um, you got to kind of keep creating beyond that. So when when people see me in the street, they'll be like, oh, you from Sisterhood of Hip Hop? And if, or they'll be asking me like, when is it coming back on? I'm like, that shit ended three <laughs> years ago, you know, but past then I've still been creating music I still have my own life and it's really just keep going just don't let it attach you always update people when you see them on what you got going on what's new mm-hmm. and you, you never want to hate on it like I, that shit is done it's a dub. you still want to like embrace that and still just keep moving forward yes ma'am um no question um I feel like that's that song um had a lot of appeal I also feel like it should have been bigger mm-hmm. Um, and I definitely commend you on like maintaining a certain level of humility, even though um, you've had some pretty big situations and you've been involved in some pretty some pretty bigger things. So now I want to bring some light to the present. One eighty third in frame. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're saying something, but you're not really saying it, mm-hmm. or maybe I wasn't listening good enough. And I, I'll be honest to say that too. Um, what was the inspiration behind that? Record? Um, I think when I was just writing it, what, the one of the lines that came out of it was like, don't put me in a box, put me in a frame. And I just feel like, just as an artist, or even as a, a woman artist, you're always put into this, you know, this thing, like, you can only do this, you're supposed to do that. And I feel like when you put something, versus a box, when you put it in a frame, you just look at it differently. It has a special effect to it, it as the gold tips around it, and it's like, you know, it's admired. So it was just more of a, you know, a play on words, too, with box and a frame, both being squares, but... Don't look at me in this box. Look, look at me in this one. You know. That's really, really dope. Um, so fast forward and now, um, both of you beautiful women are sitting in front of me because you just embarked on a project together. And um, what I want to say, this isn't a question, it's a comment. Um, there is a lot of, to me, in my opinion, fake women empowerment, fake women unity, where people are women are using opportunities to connect, in quotations, to advance or for clout, but they are not women who actually believe in each other and actually support each other and actually know who each other are separately and not right. even within the brand. So how did Queens and the Bronx meet? Um, I'm, I'm happy you said that. I'm really, I just want to say that because I see it going on like crazy Mm-hmm. And it's just like y'all niggas don't like each other. Yeah. Y'all don't like each other. Y'all know y'all don't like each other. So, but it is what it is. Everybody's chasing the bag. Everybody trying to advance. Like you said, it is what it is. I don't. I don't. I don't move like that. Yeah, I saw Connie. Um, maybe I've seen you work with a, a couple people I know, but recently she did um, this uh, freestyle with T.J. Fly, who's from Queens, where I'm from, and she definitely just stood out to me. Like as a beast on the track and I'm like yo this girl could really you know I, I love women who could rap not like fluff rap fake rap strip rap like she could rap I'm not appreciate you track. I'm not I'm not distracted <laughs> by anything I'm just listening to her lyrics and, and she still look pretty she got the, the hair it's right. like she flawless I'm like I, I love this and so I feel like for myself working on stuff I was um I'm like, y'all want to rap. Like, I want to just rap with some people. So I had tagged a few artists, and I tagged Connie in it, too. And I'm like, yo, who want to rap? And, you know, of course, being a woman, she's the one who hit me back with the idea, the video idea. She had the whole package and everything, and I I admire that. Like, yes, like, you ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's go. (laughs) Yeah, it was cool. I was, like, I've worked with a lot of different females already in the industry. um, And 
like you said, people aren't genuine. People make it seem like they want to work with you or they want to do things with you and they really just be having their own, like, motive for shit. Mm-hmm. And I told myself, like, I, I'm, I'm going to, I have to stop hitting bitches up. Like, and, and bitches use that. They play, they use it, play it against you and mm-hmm. they, they say, oh, you want it? Like, and I really be seeing different shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I come to, like she said, when I, when I have something laid out, I already see it beyond, like, let's do a song. So, um, when I hit bitches up, or I'm sorry if I'm, I don't know if this I could, a, whatever, that's this this is how I speak, so it is what it is, space. you feel me? Yes. When I hit people up, when I hit bitches up, whatever the case, I'm just like, yo, this is the plan, this is what I, this is what I see, I got my video guy on deck, I always make it super comfortable, and like, mm-hmm. and I always, I say how I feel, and I say, if you have any changes, or if you have any other ideas, I'm more than, you know, because I already mm-hmm. could see something, you know? Right. And I got a lot of flakes, I got a lot of, I had a lot of people come um, meet up with me, do videos, shoot shit, don't post shit, don't talk, Real like, yeah, get on, get, get on super cloudy time and just be like, oh, nah, I'm not, like, super cloudy time, like, <laughs> seriously, thing. like, there's other, there's, I'm not gonna say nobody's name, because I don't got time for shit like that, but there's, like, two or three artists that I worked with that are, that are, re- that are big today, that, that just was like, all right, whatever, you know, mm-hmm. like, it is what it is, because, at the same time, like, I know my ability as an artist. Like, I know what I bring, and I know that it's just everybody has their have their time where they're supposed to be, where the fuck they you're need to be. to be. You feel me? But, like she said, she, um, I actually remembered her from when I had it summer 16, High 97 had put, like, a couple females that jumped on it, and I think she had jumped on it, too. Okay. And we had, like, short, uh, short words with each other, like, mm-hmm. you know, through Twitter or something. On Twitter, she, yeah, 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 something like that. And then recently she had posted, she wanted to work, and I'm like, all right, cool. I was already working on a Busta Rhymes shit. I was working on a comeback because I felt like I needed something different. Oh, yeah, you know I slid in your DMs about a month ago. And I was like, Kylie, I ain't seen you post. <laughs> three or four weeks. You're alive in And I don't yeah. post all the time either, but just, you know, certain people you watch or you see, they come on your feed, you see they have a pattern. Right. And I ain't seen in two weeks. All right, maybe it's two weeks. Three, four, five, I'm saying up there. I said, you were up to something. Yeah. She's like, what you talking about? I said, you were up to when something. When people see me disappear, they're like, yeah, she working on her next. Because, you know. Mm-hmm. I do a lot of freestyles and I'm I'm afraid to put my original shit out right now because I just want to make sure everything is like. So I just be doing freestyles just to keep the momentum going and shit. So when she had wrote that, I'm like, all right, cool. Like I could hear her flowing on this shit. And then I already spoke to my like my people's around my manager in Asia, my video guy Eric. I told them like, look, this is what I want to do. I'm gonna just see how it flows. And she was with everything. And not for nothing, like she's the most professional person I've ever worked in my fucking life. And I'm not. There's no shade to anybody that I've worked with. I I love for everybody. But when I say like. Yo, this is what it, she's just like, okay, all right, cool, all right. Any questions? She's like, nah, she gets the shit done. We got to the studio, we knocked that shit out in 30 minutes. She did, like, yeah, I gotta go with my kid. Like, I'm like, yo, <laughs> respect, my nigga. Like, she got everything done. She came to the video shoot, and everything was just. So I'm like, yo, I could, I could see, I could, we could do this again. Yes, right. We could definitely do this two or three more times, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything was really smooth and like, She's a she's a dope artist and I, I see I see what I see what she what she's what she's trying to do and I'm like, you know what, we on the same. Let's make it happen. I feel like we could get a lot further if we actually work together and we actually you no seriously, cause cause females don't like it's like I don't know if it's just female, it could be guys too, but I feel like they don't like to share their like Spotlight. Their yeah. little clout thingy, like they don't want to share it with niggas, they don't want to tag niggas, they don't like well, that, yeah. that's dope that it's you weird. Said that because that was gonna lead me into my next comment. When I was watching the video, right? And this is not even a gas it. It gave me a Jada Kiss and Styles P. Like, yeah. She's definitely said That's that. what I said. Like, but, this fee, but, the female, well, but the woman, and I don't say female, PC, the woman essence of that, of, mm-hmm. of, that, um, of that paradox of like equally talented people together who can see the light in each other and want to share that light together. And mm-hmm. I think what people don't realize is this. When you really know who you are and you're confident about who you are, you can share the stage with somebody yeah. equally as dope. Right. And you don't lose your shine. Right. And so in that video, I'm anticipating both of y'all. It's not like, oh, what one, one is this one? Like, get this one over and then the next one. Yeah. It's almost like, oh, what kind of going to say tonight? And I don't know. Like, just get what she going to say next. You know what I'm saying? That's what music used to be for me. Yeah. That's and that takes me back to an energy and a place where we were eager, you know what I'm saying? We're fiending to get home and watch that next video, that newest video. That was always my vibe too, like I feel like for the TV show, it was like one of those energies where they were trying to pit 
us together or to like just to see who would react in different situations and I'll be like why 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 look for that energy when there's so much more like that we could do together for real like not even like we are the world and we're women but we really could make some all of us could make some fire shit together rather than trying to make us right. roll our eyes and catch sneaky like shady shit like let's get this money let's work and right. Right. So working with Connie, it's like, oh, you coming with it together? I've I've dealt with so many like flaky people. Same thing, people hit you up to do stuff, and everybody's not professional. Come late, do this and that, and I'm I'm I gotta get my work done. You know, right. I'm not really trying to waste time. I've done, I've had, like you said, I've had uh, multiple huge opportunities, and I'm looking for the next one. So I'm not really here to bullshit and play around, right. snap pictures. Like I'm trying to get some work done. Like for real, for real. Respect. That's a fact. And I'm I'm a super zodiac person, so I know that you are a Taurus and I know that you're a cancer. <laughs> and um I know for a fact that we are go getters. Um and when you get like minded people together, it is no limit to what you can accomplish together, especially if y'all on the same wavelength. Right. So my very last question is and will be, this is the first episode, we really wanna know, is this gonna be a product or is this a teaser? <laughs> it's gonna be a project. Project. For sure. That's we working on project. it. We already right. got stuff recorded. Mm -hmm. We work. We, put we it got together. way more. We got way more we'll coming. It yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good vibes here. So it's gonna be good shit when it's done. So but, each of you ladies, where can we find you? What is your social media? Where can we try to slide in your DMs? Maybe producer send you a track. You know, send you a hook or something. Let's see what happens. Um, underscore Connie Diamond. That's two eyes and a diamond. Uh, Connie Dami Music at Gmail and everything is Connie Dami Two Eyes and a Dami. You can find it everywhere. The only thing that has underscores is Instagram. So, producers, please send tracks because we're not done yet. Right. We, I was just sending her beats yesterday. But, right. um, <laughs> Night with Supreme, same thing, everything Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. I'll be on Snapchat still with the filter. Um, and the, my email is in my Instagram bio. Feel free to hit me up. I feel like people be acting like sketchy, like, I don't know, she gonna say no, she not right. gonna respond. And well, you know you conceited, man. I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm maybe, I'm, and I might be conceited and bougie, but I still work with okay. you if you fire. Like, that's, I'm, that don't stop me. I'll be looking for, you know, things to, things to do, people to work with. So don't be afraid to hit that email button. <laughs> yes, so this is Phoenix with Young Atlas. I appreciate you ladies for coming out today. Thank you so much for helping me commemorate my very first episode to fire ass femcees. Look out for them. They coming for you and go on YouTube and check out their new video. It is lit. If you want some real bars, yes. come see them. Toast X Buster. And we out. Peace, people. Y'all know it's me, that's why these bitches can't breathe Got paper or full of them trees Took all that oxygen, why is y'all all mad?